After a day-long soak in powerful paint stripper, the kind that bears methylene chloride, look, the cap is starting to come off. So before I take it the rest of the way off, let me show you how I'm doing it. I found a socket that roughly fits. I'm marking the end of the cylinder, but it doesn't matter. Roughly fits. So there we go. And now for a, a drift, a piece of brass tubing, I ovaled the one end in the vise, and that makes a very neat fit here. Um, just to make it even better, I'll go ahead and squeeze it the rest of the way. There. Now you see, it can only bear on the shoulders of the piston rod, because if you hammer on the bare end, uh, John says uh, it'll break, and I can certainly imagine that would happen. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take it the rest of the way out. Just some firm, some firm taps was all it took. Let's go ahead and take it out. And there. There's the little goober. And you see, there's no solder. It, it definitely was just pressed in there. And certainly, certainly, that's paint stripper. Certainly, it was cemented. There you got the, the, the bearing surface, that flange provides a, a large gluing surface. But because it's not swedged in place, there's no way you could rely on just a, a press fit alone. It's not a Welch plug. Okay, I want to see what this is about. So do you. Oh, I've got a tiny little burr here from yesterday's maladvised attempt to use a drift, a flat edge drift. So I made a little burr, unfortunately, on my piston rod. That has to come off. Yeah, if I had used the tubing in the first place, I would have made no burr. But I got a burr here. It ain't much. But a, a couple thousandths of an inch is all it takes to reduce the clearance so it can't pass through the the gland. I really am I'm suffering because I can't see very well. see any burr on that side. Anyway, where I'm scraping is not a, a working surface. Oh, poo. I could use a file, but I'm not, I'm not going to bother. See, this is not a, a working surface here, so... Meanwhile, the paint stripper that was inside the cylinder is burning the holy shit out of my fingers. I should stop the camera and go wash my hands. But there it is. Okay. Ta da! Technically speaking, the son of a bitch is apart. There's no O-ring there, that's just a, an oil groove. That's where we're going to be putting an O-ring. Ouch! <laughs> I gotta go wash my hands. This is murder, this paint stripper. Ugh. Well, you saw it here first.
Hooray! <laughs>